Welcome and welcome back. I'm Martin and in today's video we have this. Emergence Audio released their newest child and its cello textures and they have been so nice to hand out an NFR copy to me so I can give you my first impression and what to say. Um, this is one of the libraries where they really put some magic souls into it and it will be hard to describe and to show you this library um, in a short video. So if you know me, if you know my channel, then you might have seen I already did two two hour long live streams noodling around with Emergen's audio, one with the soprano textures and the other one was the violin textures and the soprano textures and quantum and even cello textures uses the infinite motion engine and I don't want to go into detail to explain you how it works today. I just would like to show you the sound and, and you, I, I think you can get how excited I am because it's really so beautiful. In the demo song that you right now heard, and if you're interested in what I did there exactly, that's the Logic Project, it's 14 tracks, let me know in the comments, then I can make even a walkthrough of that demo song and, and what happened there. Um, but as I said, the Infinite Engine uh, is, uh, Infinite Motion Engine is the heart of it, and this is why the magic happens and why these sounds are ever evolving. Mike Vignola from Emergence Audio has a wonderful video, there's the link um, on his YouTube channel where he explains in detail how this engine works and as always know your tools, know your libraries and I will show you the sounds today and what you heard in the demo song was the dark, the haunting side of cello textures, what you can get with the cello but there is even an angelic beautiful soft um, sound to it for cello textures, they sampled Mariko Muranaka, I hope I pronounced it well, um, world famous um, cellist, really world class. And let's get into it. So um, you see, and that's cool, and that's cool. You don't get only instruments, but you get even multis. And the guys at Emergence Audio, they know exactly how to create fantastic multis that will make you smile, that will make you dream. But let's start with the simple instruments. Um, it starts with dimensions. Dimensions, if you will, is the simplest of the instrument, which is one articulation. 
but even those they haven't been sampled static it's a non-static sampling so they are quite long the samples but they're not always exactly the same so even there from one note to the other it might vary which gives you this evolving sound and I start just with a cello detached dimension I mean this is not your solo cello library but this you can use I mean there are no legato patches but um you can use a lot and, and 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 in the song maybe you heard there was a little melody line so you can absolutely do this flautando It's going on, it's going on, and it's changing, it's evolving, and that's so wonderful. Then there's flautando, muted, there's the normale. Um, I'm a little biased on this one. It's my favorite one from Emergence Audio because I just love the cello. I'm a big fan of the cello sound. And with this one, they really, they got me. There's a Sul Pond 2 dimension. Sul Pond means they play on the Ponti cello, which is this wooden bridge where the chords um, have their, 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 their band, let's say. So it's a little more harsh. Um, then there's the sul tasto. Um, tasto means tastiera, which is the part where they, they play, like we on the keyboard, they play, you know, on the, on the chords, that's, that's the tastiera. This is why it's called sul tasto, and the sound gets a lot softer if you go on the tastiera. Um, let's get even to a uh, sul tasto dimension. That's nearly like flautando, if you will. But obviously, stronger as a sound, if that makes sense. And even here on the interface you have always the main page where we are now with the sound. In this case, as I said, dimensions is the most simple of all. And then you have the effects where you have a convolution, reverb, and you can choose from... Look at this. Look at this, how many reverbs they placed in here it's not only room and hall there are various rooms there are various halls and um even some uh, electronic reverbs if i remember analog analog reverbs if i remember well and then you have obviously the distortion obviously right click learn me dcc you put it on the knobs uh, it's all programmable and yeah, let's leave those dimensions and we get to the next, which is the correlated. Correlated is um, a mix. I just opened one uh, flautando where you do have two articulations at the same time uh, as they write in the menu, uh, you know, just being like in two places at the same time. And then there, that's the infinite motion engine. And as I press, you see the knob in the middle already starts to move. That's a fader which fades between the one and the other layer. I can obviously switch this off. So then I have only one. Or I can choose another articulation. If I don't want to have twice the same, then I can make maybe sul pont no sul, sul ponticello, maybe not. Let's say a ricochet. You know, that's the soft side of cello textures. That's not the haunting, dark part that I went for in my demo song. That's the soft side, and that's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. And sul tasto muted with the flautando.
and I'm just now pressing down two keys and then please tell me when this sounds gets boring to you won't happen that fast so I'm quite sure very soon there will be another live stream of mine noodling around the cello textures just to go through all those sounds that there are because it's a lot. It's really a lot that you get. And um, let's maybe take another one from this one. Let's say we take the tremolo correlated. Ooh, that gets back into the dark area. Is this cool? Is this cool? I love it. I really, I, I, I had a lot of fun with this, even going through all the patches and then to write the demo song, putting in, as you can see, 14 tracks, 14 various instances with, with various sounds. So that's the correlated. Then there are um, the infinite pads. And there already, look at this, look at this, look at this, how many infinite pads there are. It will take you days, believe me, it will take you days to discover all of them. Cello, a box full of dreams. Is this beautiful? This is his... This can go on for ages. This is why I say in a video like this, you can't show the whole beauty of this library. It's definitely worth a live stream and there will be this live stream soon. We can go to the next one, a peaceful moment. Pressing down four keys and listen to the sound, how the sound evolves. That's such a beauty, that's such a beauty. Um, yeah, um, corner and forever. Yes. That's in Sultasto mixed with Punta d'Arco. <laughs> I, 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 that's, that's my problem then. I could noodle around really for hours with sounds like this. They are so beautiful. Family places and family places too. Growing consonant into the obvious. Let's see this. I think you get the idea of those textures and they are really very special. Anyhow, that's the infinite pads and there is another instrument uh, within the presage present which is the pulses and now it gets interesting because you do have a sync button here and you can sync those pulses to the tempo of your door which is really really useful and um, let's get pulsing mm -hmm. 
Exactly what you expect. And look at that engine, how it's working, how the various knobs are going nuts. I'm, that's the cool thing, you know, having an, an, an engine like this and then placing your samples in. That's the advantage of Imogen's audio that they do have their infinite rite of passage. Reminds me Dream Theater. Normal, normally, you know, record should be on. Record should be on recording all this just as it gets out of your fingers with the strumming stardust. Ooh, that's a nice one. That's even a dark one. You see, um, even this, I was so fascinated about it when, when I had it first time and had it's so versatile, it's so versatile, it has been so soft, the flautanda, so angelic, so singing and now... Let's get into the effects. Distortion, learn MIDI CC. done well done emergence audio well done big compliments to mike absolutely well done this is this is one gem of a library and now i i showed you you know the, the four categories of the instruments just shortly um because you can't really in a video show you all of them this is something you need time and let's just go a little bit in the multis a little bit in the multis um as we look up is one of the multis where they placed various instruments to their liking and believe me they know what they do um that's a very interesting one isn't it Broken hearts, broken hearts. What are broken hearts? A minor. Yes. <laughs> I'm still waiting for a sound where I could say, there isn't. There isn't, there isn't. Um, from the stars, from inside, yeah, even the names are lost in a dream. They tell me which one you wouldn't like to try out. This is why I had you. It will take you days. You will be occupied for days with this one. From the stars, major. Yes, 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 yes. You can tell from the name, yes. Um, 
I suggest I take I just take a, a last one, a last one for now. Uh, what whatever in and out in definite time. Lost in a dream. Lost in a dream. You take lost even, and even there, just have a look. Just have a look. Give it a second. Um, how many there are, even of the Maltese. So yeah, in a dream, um, major. And there, wow, look at this. The normale muted, which in muted normally is consordino, um, the sultasto, and then the detached reverse. This is how they created it. can I say what can I say I could go on for hours and and we will do this very soon if you would like to see another video of mine in this direction then um, there should be the link to um, my noodling around with Emergence audio where we went through the um, soprano textures and the, and the violin textures and the quantum and now there is cello textures and I know exactly what I will do now I will continue with this and um, there's the link in the description to Mariko, her Instagram. You can follow her, the cellist. And there's the link to Emergence Audio where you can get your copy of Cello Textures. In my opinion, absolutely wonderful. If you need textures, natural textures and that stuff, make good music always. See you in the next video and in the very, very soon live stream with this library. Bye-bye.